so who gets an ECMO right let us discuss so refractory the only indication for ECMO in ADS is refractory hypoxemia if it is non cardiogenic then patient receives veno venous ECMO you take the blood from one vein put it another vein that will take to the heart and the heart is because working well because it is non cardiogenic it will pump the blood to the body however if it is a cardiogenic process that is driving the refractory hypoxemia then we will require what you call as VA ECMO this is very simplest way how to decide what ECMO which patient will get so this is true for most of our ARDS patient including COVID-19 ARDS right so how it actually helps how the ECMO helps a ARDS patient so there are different so it prevents barotrauma it prevents volutrauma to the lung it prevents atelic trauma it prevents oxygen toxicity it prevent or it decreases the driving pressure which improves mortality the all these are possible because we can give our patient what we call as a ultra low lung protective ventilation so because you are using a ultra low lung protective ventilation so we how we decrease the barotrauma by avoiding high airway pressures right how we avoid volutrauma by avoiding a large tidal volume how you prevent atelic trauma by having a moderate peep without significantly increasing the area pressure how you decrease the oxygen toxicity by decreasing the ventilator oxygen requirement and because all of this the driving pressure will decrease which will, which will improve the survival of the patient so this is how the ECMO actually helps our patient right so how to select patients for ECMO right so this is called the very popular Murray scoring system it has four component one two three four the so chest x-ray quadrants with consolidation is number one depending upon the number of quadrants involved the point will be given either 0 0.1 2 3 or 4 hypoxia which is measured as pf ratio depending upon the pf ratio mentioned here patient will get a point depending upon how much pf you are requiring for your patient to maintain a saturation of more than 90 or po2 of 60 to 80 one scoring will be given and compliance you can calculate from the ventilator using a pause method and depending upon your compliance will give it will be given a number so how to calculate the Murray score so the Murray score is equal to so sum of individual components divided by 4 right so if the score is 2 to 3 then consider ECMO because when the score is 2 to 3 mortality is more than equal to 50 percent so consider ECMO if the score is 3 to 4 ECMO is indicated so you 
discuss it with the ECMO center. Why? Because here mortality is more than 80 percent. Right. So this is the how you choose your patients to ECMO provided these are very very important parameters provided so provided there is a bridge to meaningful recovery second only one organ system failure that is the lung if patient is having multi system organ failure in that case their mortality is even very very high so it's not worthwhile to put ECMO for those patients so if only one organ system that is the lung has failed it's good to put ECMO right and third is no contraindication to heparinization as you've discussed heparinization is must so if patient cannot be given heparin it's better not to put ECMO because, because there will be thrombus formation and the ECMO efficiency will decrease the circuit will clog and there will be multiple complications so if patient cannot give an heparin I think it's better not to put the patient on ECMO right and uh, patient who are on mechanical ventilation the mechanical ventilation duration should be less than 7 to 10 days the earlier the better because after 10 days of mechanical ventilation all this has been run baratroma has been done volatroma has been done atelectroma has been done there is significant oxygen toxicity this is high driving pressure the mechanical ventilation duration should be less than 7 to 10 days the earlier the better so what are the four conditions that has to be provided first is the disease condition of the patient is reversible so we are just putting the ECMO as a bridge to meaningful recovery and there is only one organ system failure that is the lung and there is no contraindications to heparinization and mechanical ventilation duration less than 7 to 10 days the earlier the better right so these are the patient they will go into ECMO so while the patient put on ECMO what are the things to set in the ECMO machine what are the things to set in the ventilator? What are the things to look out for? How to troubleshoot any problem? We'll discuss in our next class. Thank you very much.